Have you lost your mind or what? Where have you been all five classes? I was kissing your sister. It's not funny, I'm responsible for you. The fact that my mother said that you'll be looking after me for three months still doesn't mean anything. I'm so sick and tired of you already. Ducky! And I thought that you forgot him yesterday at my place. I thought so too. Okay, take your yellow fellow and go to the gym. Ducky, I missed you. Hey, duckling, with green eyes, come to play with us. Enough being down, we're waiting only for you. Nick, our parents allowed us to stay overnight. Did you send her to sleep? Are you blind? No, and take off this hat. It doesn't suit you. Darn you. It suits me perfectly. Stop yelling, drama queen. You'll wake Lisa up. Hey, Dan. Lisa will be sleeping with me. Okay. I hope you didn't ruin my ducky while I was sleeping. No, it's fine. Wake up, wimps, we've overslept. How could we be sleeping for half of the day? My alarm clock got broken. Dan, it's no use crying over spilled milk. Stop crying. Lisa, why don't you go to my room? I need to talk to your brother. I thought you'd say it to me. Dan, listen, there was nothing going on between us yesterday, right? What? Of course not. There is nothing between us except for friendship. Just friendship. You say it like you want that there was something between us. No, I'm not gay. If I understood everything correctly, I must cover up for you and Nick? Well, sort of. Okay, so what did Nick do? Well, he had a dream that we were kissing with him on the same bed, and then I just stopped listening. Oh, maybe it wasn't just a dream. Daniel, are you out of your mind? Relax, dude, I'm kidding. Well, okay then, bye, we've got chemistry next. Hey Dan, let's skip tomorrow as well. Hmm, maybe it wasn't a dream. I want to do it for real. What are they talking about? Damn, what class is it now? Okay, who cares? Daniel, let me go, I must give him a whack. I'm 
just retelling the dreams about us and you freak out already. Stop laughing, morons. I even liked it. Pity I didn't get to hear it in full detail. Daniel, I'll write down for you everything what happened in there. Five minutes, it's all well. I'm okay. I'm sorry again for being late. Your husband is probably waiting for you. Don't worry, he can wait. By the way, how's your mother? Well, she's fine. She said that if anyone touches Lisa, she'll come with the cops. Dan, I want to go home. We'll go now. So what happened to you this time? I lost my ducky. Did you check under the bed? Yes, and under the sofa too. Okay, I'll help you find it. Did you really think that I'll fall for this trick? Oh, you caught me. Why aren't you making up some excuses? Oh, uh, what for? I already caught you. Hmm, so who's trapped now? Say something. Or you've got nothing to say. Don't look at me like that. And how did you cut the rope? Nick, take your hand off of my thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I squeezed it too hard. Nick, stop making fun of me. Dan, do you want a dirty joke? I got hard. Nick, let me go. I need to go home. Dan, please stay. Nick, but I told you that I'll leave at 10. Nick, stop it. Now you're not going anywhere with the suck mark on your neck. Donk! I want you. But you said you're not gay. I lied. Okay, you win. Nick, what happened yesterday? Good morning, Dan. You stayed at my place yesterday. There was nothing going on between us, right? Like you don't remember anything. Jokes aside, I wanted to make out with you, but you didn't let me. Nick, let's go for a walk. You've promised me. I'm already coming, my little princess. Great way to sleep away from me in no time. Looks like he's telling the truth. My butt won't hurt. Ah, hell with it. I'll go to look for the yellow one. Boys, I'm home. Brother? Uh, Lisa, step outside. Okay. 
Let me go. Are you happy now? You've messed up child's mind. More than enough. Listen, Nick, I don't want to make uh, with you. Nobody asked you. Okay, then it won't be my fault if Lisa tells everything to our parents. Lisa, I'll explain you everything. Ah, so you were playing adult games? Yes, but you won't betray us. No, if you tell Dan that I crashed his phone. You've crashed his phone? Yes, but you won't tell him that, right? No, of course not. Mm, okay, but you still must tell me a bedtime story, so that I fell asleep and didn't hear you. Okay, choose the story then. Good morning, son. Ah, oh, good morning, mom. Are Dan and Lisa with you? Yes, Dan is sleeping now and Lisa is having a breakfast. Don't be late for school. School won't go anywhere. Nick, please, don't do anything stupid until I come back. Fine, mom, I'll do my best. Okay, I'll call you later. If you only knew what I did this time. For some reason, I don't believe you, my dear son. Angela, sweetheart, our flight is in an hour. Good, I've already packed my things and I think Nick will be delighted if we come unexpectedly. I'm already curious, what did he do this time while we were gone? Daniel, what are you staring? Did you see a ghost? But it's already your seventh glass. He is just restoring his energies. Ah, I get it, you were making out, right? Yep, last night. My deepest condolence is that Dan is unable to get pregnant. Should I wake you with a shovel? No, thank you, last time was more than enough for me. Oh, I think Clean is calling me. Nick, be patient a little, we've got just two more classes left. If you'll put out, then I'll be ready to wait for the entire day. Eddie, please stop it. Oh, forgive me, I just can't resist. Lisa, please don't die. Nick, stop it, Lisa is already feeling bad enough. Lisa, don't leave me alone. Lisa, what's the trouble? My head aches and it's spinning really hard. I'll have to call mom. You'll come with me, right? Yes, sure. Thank you, brother. I'm sorry, Nick, it won't work out today. Okay, I get it. Damn, I left my bag at school. Ducky, I'm coming to you. 
Why do they make such heavy bags? So that you could complain about your life. Dad, you're already home? Yes, and it seems to me that you had a good time. Ah, that's right. Okay, I've got good news for you. We're moving out. That's great. Move out then. Well, you're actually moving out with us. Uh, give me a moment. Ducky, we're screwed. Angela, our son is schizophrenic. Hello, Lady Erika. May I see Dan? Thank you. Nick, why did you leave? Lisa missed you. Well, I went to get my ducky. Right, your ducky is much more important. Ah, that's what I thought. You've missed me. Erika, we need to talk about our children. Ah, about our children. Okay. Really? You've agreed so easily. Well, yes. I wanted to ask, Dan and Lisa, do they stay at home often? No, but uh, they stay at Nick's overnight pretty often. Pretty often? Yes, what is it? Is anything wrong? Well, do the math. Your children play in my house and nothing is broken in there. Dan knows what will happen if you get angry. Of course they won't provoke you. It seems to me that Nick did something with your Dan. Now I understand why Nick is so... I also understand why Dan has got such temper. Okay, let's go to the boys and find out everything. Sweetie, are you feeling better? Yes, Mom, I had a good night's sleep. Good, do you want anything? No, thank you. So? I hate it, I hate it, my son can't be gay. Okay, I've calmed down now, let me go. No, you'll start whining again, I won't let this happen. Am I interrupting you? Yes, you are, could you step outside? No, I wonder what excuse will you make up? By the way, mom, are you a lesbian? Nick, aren't you ashamed to ask your own mother about this while you're hiding that you're gay? Got it, understood, and leaving. Let me go down. No. Okay, I guess they are grown up for this. But they're just 16, so they'll be leaving separately. Sorry, I couldn't resist. So, our mothers know about our secret? I didn't tell them anything. Oh, I fell down. Are you hitting on me this way? What do you think it looks like? What's going on in here? How 
how can you date a guy and embarrass me? You always cared what others think. But I don't, and he's much better than any girl. Nick, shut up, please. How dare you talking like this to your father, Bantling? Oh, Bantling, I'm flattered, Daddy. Nick, I'm telling you, don't push it. Well, why do you care? Can't you be patient for two more years? Wow, I didn't expect you'll answer me in such a tone. Did you man up already? Oh, sorry, but I'm not five years old already to be tied to mother's apron strings. And actually, Nick is already grown up enough for this. It seems like you're making fun of me. I didn't get it about him being adult enough. Did he drag you into his bed? How could Nick drag him? I thought that Dan came to Nick by himself. Lisa, you didn't peek at them, right? Uncle Eddie, do you really think that I'm going to tell you? I'm not that stupid. Your sister was always so suspicious. You've messed up Lisa's mind. Well done. Listen then, let's talk somewhere else. So what did you want? Let's make out in here. Looks like you're already going crazy. It's all because of you, babe. Don't suck up to me. And I know that you'll leave soon. Well, yes, and so what? We'll meet in two or three years anyway. It's just three years for you, but for me it's forever and a day. Take the headphones as a souvenir. Oh, thank you so much. I promise you that they'll be safe and sound. Yeah, right. Two years later. Sorry, dude, I didn't notice you. Nick? Dan? Well, I guess there's no need to introduce you. The end.